ஹாய் ஹலோ வணக்கம் அண்ட் வெல்கம் பேக் டு எட் அனதர் எபிசோட் ஆன் லெட்டர்ஸ் லா யூடியூப் சேனல் ஸோ இன் ஒன் ஆஃப் மை ப்ரீவியஸ் வீடியோஸ் ஆன் தி நியூலோட் கார்லேஷன் ஸோ ஹாவ் காட் அ யூசர் ஹூ ஹாஸ் ஆஸ்க் மீ டு எக்ஸ்பிளைன் அபவுட் தி அட்வான்ஸ்ட் கார்லேஷன் பார்ட் ஸோ இன் திஸ் வீடியோ ஐ வில் ஷோ யூ ஹவு டு டூ தி அட்வான்ஸ்ட் கார்லேஷன் வித் அ சிம்பிள் எக்ஸாம்பிள் அண்ட் வி வில் டிஸ்கஸ் திஸ் about another example in our next video so in this video i'm going to just show you how to create a script and how to correlate using the advanced correlation part so before we move on to the video this is me asan shanmugam i welcome you all to little sly youtube channel please don't forget to subscribe to our channel if you have not subscribed yet so now let's start the recording so i'm going to just record a very basic script for advanced correlation and i'm going to use h browser for that and the recording is going to be inside the actions folder and i'm clicking on okay and here we have got the browser and this is going to be my first transaction so which is the pet store transaction and the next second transaction is going to be the enter the store the third transaction is going to be the sign in transaction the fourth one is going to be the credentials part and login and the fifth one is going to be the sign out so it's just a very quick very simple script so i'm starting stopping the recording and let's wait for the new load to finalize the recording preferences and let's now uncheck the unwanted requests which are part of the script and i'm going to run the checking for dynamic parameters in case if there are any because in this script anyways we have the j session id but still let's see whether we have got anything that has been correlated because in some cases if we do not have any frameworks so in those scenarios we might need to correlate them manually and now i click i have clicked finish and we have got the script here so we have got all the five scripts and this anyways is not going to run so i'm going to disable it and let's do a quick validation of this advanced correlation script that i have created and yes the script has completed now so i'm going to correlate this j session id value in here which you can see in this request so i'm going to correlate this value so there are multiple ways of correlating it so for example so for correlation we all know the process so i am having this value in a request so i have to find this value in a response and i have to correlate it so that every time this value gets correlated which means this value will be extracted from the previous response and will be passed in the next request and why we are doing this is to keep the session alive and also to keep the session to avoid any hijacking or to avoid any injections any session injections or to avoid any attacks so the first step to identify the value is click on this flag request go to whose record and response contains and then i'm going to paste the value and when i click close so here you can see the tick symbol which shows that the value is in this particular response so i'm clicking on advanced under variable extractors i'm clicking the plus symbol i'm going to search so here when you search you might not see anything and the reason here is the scope so you are select you are looking for this value in the body so in case if you want to if you are clicking the header and if you see you can find this j session id value so it's always a better a best practice is to select this both so that you will not miss any values and now we can click on the search button and i'm going to search for this value and here i have got the j session id so i'm just choosing the j session id equal to as the left boundary and then the semicolon in the right boundary so now you can see i have selected the value and the variable name is going to be j session id so this will be the variable name that we should replace it in the request so this is the simple mode so now how can we do it in the advanced mode so when i switch to advanced mode so this will ask uh, this will prompt you 
to check whether you want to convert this definition to advanced mode so when i click on yes automatically the code that we have created will be converted to advanced mode so in case if you want to still make more values or you want to make or you want to correlate or you want to extract more value we can write our own regular expression so let's see how to write the regular expression so this is the very first way of writing a regular expression for this particular value and we will see other options as well on how to write the regular expression to extract this value for this j session id so we already saw this value here which is j session id is equal to open bracket dot star question mark closing bracket and then a semicolon so what does this mean so this is a capturing group that is the dot star question mark matches any character except a new line zero or more times but as few times as possible so this captures everything until it encounters a semicolon so anything that comes between the j session id equal to and anything between the colon will be saved or will be extracted if we use the dot star question mark so let's try another example so i'm going to write another example which will extract the values so anything that is between the j session id equal to and the question mark so here you can see it has extracted the value the same value so what does this mean the 0 to 9 capital a uh, uppercase low uppercase a to f lowercase a to f so what does it mean so this is again another capturing group which matches one or more characters that are either digits which is 0 to 9 or uppercase or lowercase letters between a to f so it captures the session id value which is often represented in the hexadecimal format so in case if we have any values which is more or which is after which is beyond the scope of f then we can even add that so we will that we will see that in the next example so we have another example here let me write it for you so here you can see i'm going to just paste it in between the j session id equal to and the colon but let me add the bracket as well otherwise we will get this nl this nl illegal group index so let me tell you what is that before that i'll just paste this for you so now this regular expression or this capturing group here the capital is a to z and small lowercase a to z and 0 to 9 plus matches one or more alpha numeric characters and it captures the session id value so that is why we have to write this particular regular expression so so now we will see the fourth example for this so i'll just paste it now for you and i'll explain you what is what does that mean so the value is going to be the brackets and then a square bracket and then this symbol here which tells us that this is a capturing group which matches one or more characters that are not semicolons and it captures everything until it encounters a semicolon so it's a negate variable so it will ignore or it will not take the semicolon until the final value that is the semicolon so that is why or uh, that's what this do so this looks for any value that is after the j session id equal to and as i told you anything uh, which does not match or which is not a semicolon so that will extract that will be extracted and will be expressed in this particular expression the regular expression so you can see here it's a very simple expression a square bracket and then a negate semicolon and then it's going to be a closing bracket with a plus and then the semicolon so that's the fourth example and let's see another example this is a hexadecimal shorter example so which is going to be the open square bracket let me paste it for you so it's going to be a open bracket 0 to 9 and uppercase a to f plus and then 
a semicolon so here in this case we don't see any small or any lower case letter so we are just going to use only the number 0 to 9 and the uppercase a to f so all these examples so why i'm telling you all these examples is because you can any time you can use the most effective regular expression in your testing or in extracting your values so that's why i'm giving you different ex examples so most of most of the times we can use the dot star question mark and in cases if you need you can use the 0 to 9 and a to f because they always help you in getting the regular expression values effectively and in one of the examples we saw something like let me just give you that so i can bring i can recreate the values of which gave us a nl illegal group index while we were trying to extract the value so let me try to recreate it if possible i think this should help so in this case So I'm, I'm not trying to i am not able to recreate it but still in 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 the while we were trying the previous example we saw a nl a group illegal group index so what does that mean so in near load the error message the nl illegal group index we often get whenever we write a improper regular expression so they typically indicates an issue with the regular expression are used for extraction so this error occurs when there is a problem with the capturing groups in the regular expression so a capturing group in a regular expression is defined by placing the parenthesis the open and close back closing parenthesis around a portion of the pattern so this allows us to extract and use specific parts of the matched text for example in the regular expression j session id is equal to the open parenthesis dot star question mark so let me just write it for you so this here is the regular expression so the open and the close parenthesis creates a capturing group around the dot well, star question mark which captures the session id value so the nl illegal group index error occurs when there is a mismatch between the number of capturing groups defined in the regular expression and the number of capturing groups actually present in the text being matched so to resolve this error you should check your regular expression to ensure that the number of capturing groups in the regular expression matches the actual number of capturing groups present in the text so if you are using multiple capturing groups they are correctly numbered in the regular expression so if you are still encountering this error after checking your regular expression you double check the structure of your regular expression and the content of the text you are trying to match so it's possible that there may be mistake in either one of them so please make sure you properly fix the groups so with that we come to an end we will discuss about some of the most advanced or some of the most complex regular expressions in our next video so until then it's bye bye from us and shimugam and little slaw